Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Okay, we do have an ambulance on the way. I'm here to help, and we're there to take care of people. The vital functions of life. How are you going to gauge that? The learning just never stops. All the work we're active on the scene will tell you a lot of information, right? Do you feel pretty confident about it? There's nobody here that isn't going to pass that test, right? Somebody's life is in immediate danger. If you don't intercede, that person is going to have a negative outcome. Day one is to just kind of teach them what's expected. We are a service. EMS stands for Emergency Medical Service, and service is the most important word in that. Are we supposed to go on that door now? And we are here to serve. That's what we got into this for. Does anybody remember? And that's what I'm hoping that they all come here for. All right. All right, right now. It's, we're recording. All right, cool. It doesn't make us sure. All right. Scratch. Name's John Winters. A little bit about my background. I grew up in a small town called Hayward. It's right next to like Oakland and San Francisco. I was a reserve firefighter for approximately about three years with the San Ramon uh, Fire Protection District. Uh, been an EMT on and off for about roughly four years. I moved here out to Austin uh, 2020, right before the pandemic. His dad got really sick, passed away. Then he started classes um, to prepare for his paramedic um, school. And then his mom passed away doing that. Um, so in between, there was a lot of a lot of struggle. So we had to transition through that period as well as going through paramedic school. And then as I went through there and got through that successfully, uh, we were like, hey, look, there's really nothing holding us back. The end of 2019, I got a job offer from a big tech company here in Austin. As far as finding Austin Travis EMS, this has always been my number one uh, department I always wanted to work for. I was on the fence about taking the job, and then he was like, no, 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 I really, I really want to go there because Austin Travis is awesome to work for. He read about it, he heard about it from previous co-workers, so he was more excited about the move than I was. My wife actually got a job over at Indeed, and then I made my transition all the way over here. Uh, and then I applied for Austin uh, after working at AMR for a little bit of time, and now I'm here. So I stopped going to Explore classes last Monday, and here I am today. So it's been a week. 18, turn 19 next Friday. You're 18 and you turn 19 next Friday? Yes. I'm third generation Austinite. My father's a firefighter in Buda. So at first of her following my footsteps, I was a little worried because um, she is my youngest one, so she's my baby, so I have to look out for her. I was very surprised and actually very proud of her that she does want to follow my footsteps. He was excited that I got in so early at a young age. In 2020, when she got into an accident. I fractured, I fractured my back. Um, I had to get stitches to the back of my head, and I shattered my nose, and I had a partially collapsed lung. And that I responded to her in that accident, I think that really inspired me to be um, an EMT. From that point on, she just kept on asking questions, and she was always interested, and she always would come out to the station and hang out with me and hang out with the guys. Um, but I didn't know that she was going to choose the EMS route at all. So just go ahead and start treating him. Just watch our fingers there, right? We're going to go right on the jawline. You're supporting them and you're helping them because none of us are perfect. None of us know everything, right? Originally, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. What functionality will he get into trouble with? And I moved over here in, yeah, yeah, this is theoretic, 1992. And I became a United States citizen in 1997, which was great. Now I live in Texas with my beautiful wife and daughter. So did you originally come to Texas? I originally went to Honolulu and uh, surfed. <laughs> My name is Brendan Klusky with Austin Travis County EMS. I am a training captain. I applied, yes, because uh, I, f I really believe that this is the premier EMS agency in the nation, if not the world. So I really wanted to be a part of that. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Right on the jawline. This guy will not know. This, this kid will not. I feel like if I prepare myself enough, I'll be fine. I think it's just a matter of if you prepare yourself beforehand, you won't be as nervous. Our academy starts and we have two weeks of intensive, <laughs> rigorous activities. Good job. When they get to the second week, there's their first hurdle. Misery. We have to get beyond thinking about ourselves like, 
technicians, we're clinicians. Clinicians add the brain to the equation, right? Increasing tachycardia, he's got increasing blood pressure. And that's the first exam. And he speaks three word sentences. They have to pass okay. in order to proceed in the process. Okay. You guys go ahead and you're dealing with this patient. Sir, sir, can you hear me? No response. Pull this out, you want to make sure you have a really good mask seal. Pull his face up to the mask, beautiful. Very good. You are not going to get in trouble here because you are doing a proper thorough assessment. We have people coming from different systems all over the country that were more tied to a Tell me exactly what happened. stricter yes, stage three COPD. on scene times. We don't have that kind of strictness here unless it's what is happening with the patient. You came from a department that you had to be off scene in like 20 minutes or else you got in trouble regardless of the call. Oh, I've got great news for you, my people. This is not the department. You get to stay on scene. Unfortunately, all uh, EMT classes are not created equal, and sometimes people don't get the higher level of instruction in those classes. How long have you been in Austin? We moved here right before COVID. How far? Yeah, so, but she got a job out, right? <laughs> so you haven't seen anything. Most don't think they can make it through, uh, and we get them through, and they get themselves through. It's the ones who, uh, just don't want to put in the effort, they, they don't make it. Sounds good? All right, make it happen. Good first day, guys. Way to go. Make it happen. There's definitely a lot of people from out of town. That's a typical Texan, right? Like, well, no, you didn't, you don't know because... Pearl does not represent yeah, all of Yeah, I've never been outside of Texas, but you don't know. You don't know anything about it. heat. I'm like, all right, that's weird. That was my first introduction to a Texan besides Krista. <laughs> Come on in to step across Texas with me. I went to uh, EMT basic school and uh, I kind of fell in love with it. And so I started working on an ambulance. Did you start here? No, Las Vegas. Okay, so, so you started in Las Vegas. Is that where you're from? No, no, no. I was born and raised in Montana. Uh, and then when I got out of the military, I moved to Vegas because I was 22. It seemed like a real good idea. It's going to be a <laughs> hell of a ride. You get out of your comfort zone. You, uh, you will realize that when you do hard things that you will develop confidence that you need. That's what anyone needs, right? Is uh, enough confidence to go out there and, and try something you didn't think you could do. You've made that little cradle under there and it's gonna set you up better to put that second one on up here. The peak onset is between 10 and 14 years of age. If you fail the two weeks test, it's like the past. It's the challenge? Six months during the application process was for nothing. That's what's most nerve-wracking. Where do you think you will lose pain and temperature sensation? We hire for character. It's going to be the opposite, right? Here at Austin Travis County EMS, we take those good people and we feel if somebody's got good character, that's the type of employee we want and we can teach the rest. We're innovative. We're trying to do really cool new things. Those individuals that don't want to be firefighters. Yes, sir. Thinking more long term. There's not a lot of options out there. A family, a home here in Texas, here at Austin Travis EMS. Austin Travis oh, County EMS is unique. Department. Let's talk for a second about Austin. And for me, my entire career, I've had my eye on Austin Travis County EMS. It's a system that invests in its people, that invests in the community, and is willing to think outside the box. Yeah, we're prideful all the time here. It's just not, we're not designated for one month, you know, it's more than just June. We're personally invested in making sure that our new cadets have all the tools they need for their personal success, but also for the positive outcomes for the residents of Austin Travis County. Some of the procedures that we have to do here you don't have time to make a phone call. You've got to do it. Somebody's life is in immediate danger. If you don't intercede, that person is going to have a negative outcome. We're not any use if we get exposed. 50. And you were just sitting in class when it started? And you're having no pain anywhere, right? No pain in your chest, no pain in your belly? You already had any numbers tingling in your hands or feet? Yeah.